Hey guys, it's Ryguy Gaming here, and today we are going to be doing another Roblox scripting tutorial. Now, for those of you that are already subscribed to me and everything, this one will probably look pretty familiar, and that's because I actually did it wrong. But for those of you that are new and just checking out this channel for the first time, if you notice, this player right here, although he is another player, he does not have a name or health bar above his head which people normally do. And so that is the tutorial today that you guys have been asking for forever is how to hide name and health bars. Now I have done this tutorial before, let me go ahead and hop back into the studio while I talk about this, but I have done this tutorial before but there was a problem with it. When I set it up I made it so that it would only remove the health bar the first time but if you were to die you would again have your health bar and name reinstated so this time we're going to set it up so that it will reinitiate every time you respawn and I'm sorry about that I hope you guys all catch this video and um, are able to fix your games but so here we are going to click go into our script over here it's called remove health and for those of you that don't know to insert a script you just right click on workspace go to insert object and then click script I would show you but my capture thing doesn't pick up the right click menu so just trust me <laughs> and then yeah go ahead name it whatever you want and then we'll open it up so as you can see, those of you that have seen this before, it looks almost exactly the same. I've just added two lines, this one here and this one here. And for those of you that are new to this concept, we'll go ahead and take it through step by step. So the first thing you're going to want to type is this, actually, that's on the bottom. Players.childadded, connect, on, player entered. So the player's child added event is fired when a child is added to the player's service which is over over here so whenever a child is added so basically that means whenever a player joins the game that is when the this event and this function will be called and so now we have to write our function which it passes through the player as one of its parameters and then this is the line that will make sure that this happens every time we respawn so you say player dot character added so this is another event whenever the player has their character added to workspace this event will be fired and then this will start this new function and I know this is kind of confusing basically we're doing this but we're keeping it all in one line instead of just instead of just calling an entirely new function it just it honestly kind of looks better if you think about it but it's okay just copy this and you should be able to work it's just another way to call a function without you just don't have to define the name of a function and have a whole separate line for it so anyways this is saying whenever the player's character is added it will create it will call it will excuse me it will call this function with a char variable which will hold the character of the player and then we just set the character dot humanoid dot mat or dot health display distance and name displays distance both to zero this means that their health and name will not display basically at all like I don't think even if you stand right on top of them I think you're still too far away to see your health so that is how you do that and yeah honestly it's just a real basic script I'm sorry I couldn't get it right the first time but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed I hope if you ran into problems like this this was able to help you fix it and you know we're all learning I miss stuff all the time I actually came across it while I was doing another tutorial which we are going to have today we're gonna have two tutorials cuz this one's just kinda like a recall I guess you could say so this one is going to be put out and then I'll have another one for you later on and 
so yeah thanks for watching this video i hope you guys have a good day and please be sure to hit that subscribe button for future content including that tutorial today please be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed and post a comment down below with any suggestions or questions that you may have if the script doesn't work try checking out my troubleshooting video for a few quick help tips and if it still continues to not work let me know and i'd be happy to help you out but anyways guys that's it for this one thank you for watching rye guy gaming and i hope you have a great day goodbye